and open it up uh, by first of all welcoming the Secretary, Secretary Donovan back again. He was here a week ago Sunday uh, in fulfillment of a commitment that the President made when the President came on that Friday uh, beforehand that uh, all of the powers of the federal government would be on board to help work and lead us back to restoring people's lives. Mr. Secretary, on behalf of all the citizens here in Birmingham, I want to thank you for keeping that commitment and coming back to make an assessment as to where we are and what we need to do moving forward. Uh, we're also happy to have Congresswoman Sewell, Terry Sewell, with us, as well as uh, Congressman Spencer Backus. I'm going to uh, turn it over at this time for any comments and remarks that the Secretary has to make at this time. Mr. Secretary. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, Usually I would say it's a pleasure to see you uh, twice in, in eight days, but under these circumstances, let me just say thank you uh, for your partnership, for your leadership uh, during a dark hour for your city. And I want to say to you, I want to say uh, to everyone uh, in Birmingham and the surrounding communities that have been hit so hard by this tragedy, this president this administration, this HUD, is standing behind you, not just today, not just for the weeks and months to come, but for the years that it will take to make this community whole again. We will not stop coming. We will be here on the ground. Uh, my team will be here on the ground every day until this community is built back stronger and better than it was even before the storms. And I want to give you a sense of what this partnership means, because the federal government is here to do whatever we can, but we can't do this alone. We need leadership like this mayor has shown. We need leadership from our congressional delegation that they've shown. I want to say Congresswoman Sewell, Congressman Backus have been just tremendous, tremendous partners uh, in making sure we can do everything we can at the federal level. Governor Bentley, uh, on his 100th day in office to have faced this, he's been a remarkable partner already. Uh, and we will do everything we can with those, these partners. But it's also about government coming together with citizens, with the private sector, uh, to make this partnership work. Think about this. As of this morning, we've had almost 49,000 individuals register with FEMA for assistance. For anyone who hasn't yet, they should take that step. Call 800-621-FEMA and tell us what your needs are. We'll get out. We've done more than 12,000 inspections of homes already around this state. We've provided almost $26 million already in the state of Alabama of assistance through FEMA. But think about this. With all of those families who've registered, on Saturday night, there were fewer than 300 individuals that were in shelters around the state. Fewer than 300. And what does that mean? That means that there are thousands of families staying with relatives, with members of their church, with perfect strangers. That is a demonstration of what it means to be a neighbor in Alabama. And I want to thank everyone in this state who has stepped up and been part of helping this community recover. It's a remarkable partnership, and it will continue uh, until the last family has been helped. Um, our role in particular, standing behind FEMA, is to make sure that assistance is available uh, to families who need housing. And in particular, uh, the challenge, as you can see by the devastation around me, is that while somebody may have a couch to sleep on uh, or a floor to sleep on for the next few weeks, they're not going to be able to get back in their homes here within uh, just a few months or a few weeks. And they need to find housing that they can go to. So we are working very closely with FEMA. FEMA can get them assistance, but they need a place, those families need a place to use that assistance to rent a home uh, or, or if they decide to move, to buy a home. And so we're going to provide that assistance. One of the lessons that we learned in Katrina was that we needed a better system to help families find housing. We set up a national housing locator system 
which has surveyed tens of thousands of apartments around the state and homes to find places where folks could move. We've been working very closely with the mayor and the state housing task force. There have already been two meetings of the state housing task force to figure out how to help folks relocate and find the housing they need while they're rebuilding. So that's a key part of our effort. The only other thing I would say uh, before turning it over to my colleagues here is we're not just about housing. We're the Department of Housing and Urban Development, uh, and we work not only in urban areas but in rural communities as well. One of our most important tools is the Community Development Block Grant. It's the most flexible tool that we have to help rebuild not just housing but uh, streets, sewers, utilities, all of the infrastructure that's going to need to be rebuilt. Uh, the mayor and his team and I were just talking. Uh, we have already cut red tape and provided waivers to the state of Alabama to be able uh, to direct that blo those block grants to where they're needed, either here or in rural communities. Uh, on Friday, uh, we met with the mayor's team and told them we could provide them a waiver on the one issue that they needed a waiver on to make that money uh, as effective as possible. And we're dramatically accelerating new block grant assistance that Congress appropriated just a few weeks ago uh, to this community and communities around the state so that that money can go to work quickly to help start the rebuilding process. Uh, again, this will not be something that happens uh, overnight or in a few weeks. Uh, I have never witnessed devastation like this in my life. The president, as he said, has never seen anything like it. Uh, but the intensity uh, of this task, it may be daunting, but we will not rest. This president will not rest. This administration will not rest until we have seen this community come back uh, stronger and better than it was before. That's my message today uh, to all of you uh, out there who may be wondering whether this community can come back. You can with the determination of families that I've seen, you will, and we will be there to help you every step of the way. Say welcome to Alabama, to Birmingham, uh, to Secretary Donovan. I know you're no stranger to Alabama, uh, and I just, uh, I'm reminded of the President's words when he uh, was here. He said, you will not be forgotten, and you're holding, he's holding true to that promise. I know this is your second visit. It will not be your last. And uh, I just want to thank Mayor Bell, who's done a tremendous job uh, for all that you're doing, and Representative Gavan, I know this is your community, and you've stood with us uh, throughout this whole time. Um, you know, this will not define us. Uh, they say that a mark of a person's character is not what they do when times are good, but what they do in times when times are bad. And our community uh, is not a community of victims. We will be victorious in this uh, by, by, by working together neighbor helping neighbor. We've done that so far and we will continue to do that. Um, I know that I have been most impressed with our first uh, responders and our volunteers. Um, we come from a wonderful community and a wonderful state that will and w that will return and will be stronger and better than ever. Um, I'd like to bring up now my 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 partner in Congress uh, when we talk when we deal with Birmingham uh, Congressman Spencer Bacchus, who's been tremendously helpful and a wonderful mentor, and I want to thank you for all that you've been doing. We have HUD employees working with FEMA to evaluate families right up front and say, hey, if, if, this is, if this is a family that can get back in within a couple months, we'll just help them with assistance. We won't need the DHAP program, but in a situation where it's longer term, we'll assess them right up front and get them into the DHAP program as quickly as possible so that we don't have dropped handoffs, we don't have you know, uh, one family having to talk to six different people uh, in the federal government. Yeah, it, it's a much more efficient, effective process. And by the way, it costs less to the taxpayer because we already have all the systems in place through the voucher programs of the local housing authorities uh, that can do inspections, uh, that can uh, help families make uh, cut checks uh, on rent, all of those things uh, over the next couple of years. So those, that's an example where a month from now a family is going to know that they have assistance that can help them for 18 months uh, as opposed to being in limbo uh, when, uh, as the congressman said, there's so much else that is on their mind. There is the, uh, my staff in community development, planning and engineering, uh, 
Public Works who have worked tirelessly to make sure all the roads were cleared and the public right-of-ways are, are being cleared. It takes a team effort of everybody, and, and I'm, I'm just grateful to be the mayor of a city that has shown his heart. As I look over here to the right, I, I see a keyboard that told me that if it came from this house or whatever house it came from, music was in that house. So it's more than just rebuilding physical buildings and physical homes. It's about restoring lives and, and bringing the music back to a household and doing all of those things to let people know that we care and we want to restore them back to the way they were, but even better. So, Mr. Se Mr. Secretary, I thank you for coming. I thank you for all that you are doing to help us cut through the red tape. Uh, we've learned a lot of lessons, lessons from past disasters that we're not going to repeat this time around. We're working hard with the federal government. They're working hard with us to make sure we do the right thing by the citizens and the taxpayers who depend on us in restoring their lives. So thank you again.